Hello! Hello! Welcome to episode 57! Oh, that's lots of fingers. Mmm, many fingers, many films, many chilies, and we're still here. Of the Mr. Courgette. And uh, Mr. DBSB. Chili. And zombie experience. experience. <laughs> It's quite poetic, really, because it's episode 57, which is also DBSB's age. <laughs> so, um, so we are not doing a themed episode this year, this week. No, no, no. But you know, we, we are doing. We don't want to overplay. No, thing. no, no. We're not. We're not like one of those bands that just keeps doing concept albums. No, 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 no. no. I mean, we'll stick with the core theme of Chili yeah. and zombies. Oh my! But. Um, yeah, so shall I talk about a film first? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. What film are we having So today? we've been meaning to do this one for quite a while, uh, but haven't. Uh, this is called Attack of the Herbals. Now, from what I can ascertain, this is a Scottish zombie film uh, about that involves zombies that derive from herbal tea. I believe well, I've, it I've... is OAP zombies. Excellent. Yeah, <laughs> so... <laughs> So there's going to be slow zombies, <laughs> and there's going to be. But will it be? Will, if there's uh, OP zombies, will they be sped up by the zombification? Oh, maybe. Only time will who tell. Who knows? Yeah. So yes, yeah, so that one's been on the list for a little while. Um, so I reckon, let's give it a go. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we are going to do two chili things as well oh, because excellent. I'm enjoying the like the doing two chili things. Yeah, that's a good thing. So. Um, I'll talk about them both a bit. Yeah. And then, yeah. So what we have um, after the the rousing success of um, our amazing Korean barbecue sauce saucy from Chile mm. in the Valley last time around, and um, Gonjiam that almost killed me, but yet I'm still eating every day. Um, last time around, we have another Chile of the Valley. Uh, okay. Product. Cool. It is not a sauce this time. It is a pickle lily Ooh, called this. Picker Chili. And we do like a good pick a pick a lily. Oh uh, yes, yeah. I we reviewed do. a good one from Price's Spices a while yep. ago. I seem to remember. And yeah, being as the last chili the valley stuff was good, I thought let's give it a try. Okay. And the other thing we have today, um, it has a barcode, so I'm assuming it's more of a mainstream thing. Um, but this was donated by my partner's mum, and this is uh, I'm going to pronounce this horribly, so I apologise. Casalinga vegan chili pesto. Wow. So we have something that is going to be probably a bit sweet and a bit savoury. So oh, that's good. Now, what do you want to do first, sweet or savoury? So I'm thinking the flavour on the pesto is going to be stronger. Yeah, I agree. So should we do the, the yeah. piccolini first? Do piccolini yeah. first. I think there's sort of like general saltiness and all stuff like that. Would that be your military title, General Saltiness? <laughs> General Saltiness. Pick a spoon. Not, not. <laughs> right. Smells very nice. Yep, that has a pickly smell. Yep, yep. I'm gonna swish it around a little bit because if it's been sitting, it might be a bit juicier further down, as it were. Yeah. There we go. That's some good juiciness. Me. Me. Oh, you got the, the cauliflower, you got yeah. all your all your good bits. All your bits in there. Yeah. Yeah, a good pickle you should have good definable bits. You should be able to identify them. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, that smells pretty good. Yeah. Got we? a nice pickliness. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's really nice. Mm. Mm. I'm guessing it's got scotch bonnets in there. Well, you would think that. It's got that kind of... But then you'd be wrong. No? It is habaneros. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, similar they, they, they have that similar yeah. flavour, but... Mm. 
Oh yeah, it's a really good use of that flavour of, of those kind of chilies. Mm. Um, yeah, so you get the there's almost a, a creaminess. Yeah, there's the right sort of like sharp hit up front. Yeah, then it's like a m nice creamy mustardy flavour running through it. Good crunch for the veggies. Yeah, that's a, that's a really nice pickle, Eddie. A good pickle, Eddie. Mm. Yes. Yeah, and it's a really nice level of heat. It's not overpowering. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not. Really nice. You know, it's not killing the flavour and everything on there. It's just very tasty. Yeah, yeah, that's a thumbs up from me. Yes, yeah, thumbs up from me. What should we were trying and to I do? I can there? see the studio audience are, are clamouring to get hold of. Oh, them. <laughs> ah. Right, palate cleanser. Uh, yes. Mm -mm. Well. So that was the pick of chili. So, on to the uh, vegan chili pesto. Yes. So, more spoons. No double dipping around here. No. No, not in a bad. pandemic. Um, right. Now, I'm not smelling any chili as yet. I'm just getting a bit of a pesto-y hit. Yeah, that smells pretty, pretty pesto-y. Yeah. Shall I? Yeah, do give it a stir. It's all good. Yeah, so it's a proper stir. It's been sitting a while, that one. Yeah, I, it's bringing out the tomato-y. It's got a tomato-y smell. Yeah. Very pesto-y. Yeah. Red pesto kind of smell yeah. happening. I do like a red pesto. God, I don't think I've ever said anything quite so middle class as that in my entire life. No, I think, Kill me now. No, I think my favourite middle class moment was when I was uh, I was best man for for my oldest friend Damien, um, and on the day before the wedding, rather than us being out on the town wearing bras on our heads and other such things we were indoors um, boiling quail's eggs and shelling quail's eggs and discussing <laughs> the best way to shell a quail's egg I would defer to you that, that is, I, 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 I can not believe it I couldn't believe how middle-aged middle-class awful we were we should have been being pissed and putting ten pounds in a lady's pants. But, uh, we and that's just in the co-op. Yeah. <laughs> right. Shall we have a whiff and a taste? Yeah, still smelling pretty... Uh... Yeah, pesto mm -hmm. Very mild. Very. I'm not getting any heat. Uh, uh, you know, that'd be just really nice, just mm. chucked into a uh, into 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 penne. <laughs> See, I'm rub it all over your large penne, and it that'd be quite nice. I think it's a nice pest. I'm I'm because of the consistency of it. I think less for me that I would put it in pasta. More, I'd probably use it as a sandwich spread. I think because it's not overpowering, I'd probably put that in a sandwich with yeah. some cheese and stuff. Yeah. It's nice. It's not hot, but it's nice. Mm. There's a little. T I'm getting a little tingle now, but. Yeah, if, if, if you you def if if you're big into your chili, you'd probably want to add some chili to that. Yeah. But it's a, a quite a good red pesto. Yeah. Red pesto and does it can be difficult getting good vegan pesto. So as, as a vegan pesto, I'd say that's really good. Yeah. Mm. Although it's pretty easy to make. Says you with your quail's eggs. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, well, thumbs up from me on the pick of chilli. Yeah. And I'm giving this a tentative thumbs up. Yeah, a thumbs like, up. A thumbs up from a pesto. Eight, yeah. And uh, from a chilli. Mm, yeah, it's probably at 75, 65% mm, mm, up. 40. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. Right. Should we watch a film? Yes, watch a film. 
Right, so... Um, yeah, um, what, so we're back. So, um, well, first announcement, I guess. Um, so we attempted to watch Attack of the Herbals on Amazon Prime, and no. Basically, uh, Amazon uh, listed it with closed caption subtitles, and unfortunately, was, they were in terrible. Yeah, uh, it was pretty yeah. much YouTube's subtitles. Uh, automated ones. Automated. Yeah. yeah. Didn't match yeah. up with what people were saying. It was lazy subtitling. They weren't. Yeah. They weren't in sync. The the words or the subtitles were not matching in any way, shape, or form what was being said. Uh, uh, there was, was bits terrible. when there was people speaking German quite clearly as German, and they just put foreign language. Yeah. I mean, if Alvidazane isn't easy to translate, then I'm sorry, but does that mean there's no subtitled version of Alvidazane Pet, which would be disappointing? <laughs> But anyway, Amazon, so, uh, thumbs down. Yeah. Big thumbs Jeff down. Jeff Bozo, you can afford to do better. Yes, please. Subtitle it better, please. Yeah, Amazon, so, take that. So we switched from one big corporation to another. We went over to Netflix. Oh, yeah. And we watched a film instead called The Cured. Oh. Oh, yes. Not to be confused with any film about Robert Smith whatsoever. No. There, there was, was no big hair. There was no There was pasty makeup. skin. There was. But there wasn't big hair. No. Um, but The Cured. Um, so we were going to go for like a Zoncom. Yeah. And The Cured kind of was the opposite not. of that. It, it was uh, serious. Yeah. Now, for, it goes... Is, I mean, look, this is not giving away any spoilers because this is just the premise of the film. But it's in the vein of the more recent films that are now concentrating on what happens after the event or yeah, during the tail end of the event if you will and I, th I, it, I love the premise of that there's a cure for the zombieism mm. but the big part of the thing is the people who have been cured can remember yeah. what they've done which is such a great little twist because yeah. it really it, it, it me, 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 mixes stuff up psychologically for the for the people who survivors who didn't become zombies and saw their friends and family get killed around them but then also the the horrifying guilt of the people who remembered it mm. um well i guess without giving it away but the 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 mixture of the horrifying guilt for those people that have been through it being cured but remember and then the lack of guilt for some of them that have been cured and remember. Well, I, I, um, I, this, I, the, the film was. It's very interesting because it's an Irish film, and it is very much about the the troubles in Ireland, and you can kind of see how the the, the troubles just infect everyone not just the people who were part of it, the people who weren't part of it. And, you know, the fact that the, the zombie disease was called the maze and like the, the main prison that a lot of the, uh, the, uh, the IRA uh, sympathizers may have gone to was the maze prison. Okay. So it's very, it would be really interesting to have a chat to um, someone from Ireland about that film mm. because I think there's going to be a lot that, you know, it's set in the here and now. So it's really interesting, you know, thinking about the the way things are in Northern and Southern Ireland or in Northern Ireland, England, it, it's very difficult for for us to mm. speak, you know, uh, because, you know, we're in the, the south, south of England and it has... Wales, really, well, Oh, sorry, Wales. I'm from the south of England. <laughs> and so, like, you know, the kind of... The island troubles hasn't really affected me, but this is, like, a really really interesting you know there's the the military they're yeah. equally as messed up by it as much as mm. the civilians 
the families who are involved. It is like, yeah, really, you know, the first part of the film, I was thinking, oh, yeah, I can see this is kind of a bit of an allegory for, um, for, for, for drugs okay. and addiction. And, you know, perhaps in a way that is perhaps what's a part that's tied in with it, with people coming out of prison mm. okay. and that affecting the community. Um, mm. It's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 there, there's very few giggles in no, this one. No, it's not a comedy. Not a comedy, no. but again, it's not a, you know, there, there are some zombie films which are just really depressing mm. this is a bit of a mm, makes you think yeah it's a definite think piece it's not quite an edge of your seat thing but you do get it's the the sudden births or bursts of deaths or a sudden bursts of action that just sort of like yeah jolt you. I, th I think it's perhaps a, almost you're getting towards your Politico Zom thriller. Okay. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah I can um, see that. That, yeah. that kind of. Th yeah, there's Politico Intrigue Zom thriller. Yeah, I think you're making like a really niche subgenre yeah, here. That were just uh, for this film. But, yeah, it's you know. quite possible at the moment. But did not yeah. to say there could but, be more. Uh, well, you know, maybe, you know, you know, that Juan of the Dead. Yeah, Juan of the Dead was very sort of political themed. Yeah, yeah. and maybe we weren't seeing so much of the politics because mm. we're not from Cuba mm. but uh, you know um, I, I'm slightly older than you not a lot 57 <laughs> not 57 not yet <laughs> but you know I vaguely remember the the, the 70s uh, the late 70s and stuff w when there was like you didn't go to London for Christmas because you know, there was so much worry about there being bombs and stuff like that. So I kind of remember all the some of the 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 stuff of of the troubles which mm. reverberated in, into mainland England. Mm. Um, but you know, nowhere near as much as say someone who was actually living in 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 Northern no. Ireland no, right. or on the border. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a uh, yes. Uh, I get the feeling you're gonna be thinking about this quite a lot. Of I, yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, I and I think you know, I think the the the, the director or writer or, or both. people who put it together are definitely wanting you to think. You know, the fact that they called the the outbreak the maze. Yeah, that it's linked back to that. It's linked to that. You know, yeah. it, it's it's very difficult for it. You, mm. you, you can't have something set in Ireland and call it the maze without it linking yeah. to that. Um, hmm. uh, yeah, it's a really good. Uh, there, there are bits that I'm going to talk to Gary. Mr. Courgette. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I nearly gave away a secret then. Um, um, about that happened towards the end of the story. Okay. So the the the, the spoilery bits that we'll save for later. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's just for just, just for us, for, just just for us you know, yeah. you know, for me, yeah. justifying my my ham-fisted uh, politico okay, okay, social thing, you know. As I like to do with, with zombie hey, films. Hey, I, I know you like to find the political undercurrent. Yeah. For me, the interesting thing in this was um, the relationship between zombies. Yes. Uh, you know, yeah. In a lot of films, it is just you, know, you have you have the the infected and the non-infected, and that's just it. You're too you know that's it, and, and there's no real sort of. You might get zombies hunting in packs, but there's no real leadership or anything. Now in this, well, not that we well, know. No, no, no. But you know what I mean. Not, not that comes across on yeah. film. In this, it was very much felt like it was like almost the vampire law of like a, a familiar, uh, yeah. Then then turning someone and being able to communicate with them. 
um, you know, through the subconscious or through the however. Yeah. Because there's no sort of audible contact. But I thought that was a really nice little theory about the whole idea of, you know, and this is how it can progress and how people can, how they can work together. I thought that was a really cool little twist on what we've seen in zombie films before. I think an interesting double bill for this mm. would be to watch Colin. I know you're not a big fan of Colin. Okay. I mean, I to watch Colin, yeah. then this, because that, that that's kind of like the order of, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. I mean, um, I, where I, it's yeah. from the zombie's perspective, and then there's this thing which is kind of from this new zombie person, yeah. ex zombie yeah. perspective as well. Um, yeah. So, no, I mean, I, I, I really like the fact that it's, it's neither before or during the height of the infection. And it's not quite everything's back to normal. It's that we're coming out. The, it, it feels very close to what's happening in the world at the moment. In that, you know, it's everyone's sort of pinning a lot of hopes on a vaccine. Yeah. And, you know, uh, is everyone going to get a vaccine? Is only a certain portion of the population going to get a vaccine? How effective is it going to be? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and so it does feel like quite close to the bone in certain yeah, respects. Yeah, I think at so, the moment, yeah. yeah. So I think, yeah, it is a bit weird filming episodes about zombie films during a pandemic. Um, yeah, so I, I think this one, more than any of the ones we've watched recently, yeah, per, did I think make you right. think a lot about what's happening yeah. right now. Um, I think it was, I mean, aside from like the one mention of... Um, of like a, a, a speak of, of a leader speaking about the about what's happening on the news, it was very much they kept they didn't have any sort of on screen figure for who's giving the order for yeah. any sort of action. If you know what I mean. Well, I think that's kind of nice in mm. that it gives it more of that realistic. You're a person. Yeah, there. it kept it very on the ground. It was, it you was know, very much centered around who's infected and who's not. The actual who's close people to it. Yeah. who are the main protagonists. There, there isn't the the them upstairs kind yes. of thing. It's like this is really kind of really contained. Yes, but it's unusual that they yeah. don't do that because a lot of these films will very much make a, a make. You know, make it make it a centerpiece, like having this one person who's in charge, who you can pin everything on. And yes, there are some authority figures in this, but they're at a much lower level. Yeah, than you uh, yeah, they're know. at a low enough a level to, for them to be as messed up as everyone else is. Yes, exactly. Uh, we could probably talk about this film for hours, and we've only got one viewer, so you've probably turned off by now. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I think yeah, I really thumbs up it. if you want a think piece. Yeah. But Definitely. you also want the zombie piece. Yeah. Yeah, like, give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Um, we'll do another one of these soon and there'll be more zombies and there'll be more chili and we probably won't watch anything on Amazon unless you sort out your subtitles. Yeah, Jeff Bozo. Yeah. Mm. Goodbye. <laughs>